evening, Spartans Nation. Welcome to Olympia Ice Center for the matchup of East Long Meadows Spartans versus the Westfield Bombers. Though it may look a bit unfamiliar to you as we are in rink two instead of rink one as we usually are due to a college game being played there at this time. Spartans coming off of their 4-2 win over Littleton last weekend. With the Westfield Bombers coming off of two losses last week against Minichog and Situate, both in which they scored zero goals, being outscored 10-0 total. As we see the first line starting out here for East Salt Meadow, top line of Dobek, Asher, and Kuhn, as Dobek dumps it in deep. Around the net. Another notable factor into this game is that sophomore Owen Reed gets the start instead of our usual senior Colin Sherwood as Esau Meadow may be getting ahead of themselves as we uh, earlier on in the season gained a win against Westfield as there's an offside call on this play as LePage was tied up in his offensive zone but once again we had a 2 nothing win over Westfield earlier on in the season so that may have led to the decision to put Reed in net instead of Sherwood. But we saw Reed in net in the third period of the Longmeadow game a couple weeks ago. Looked pretty solid in that one, though it was a tough one to get put into. So we'll see how he does here tonight. Here's Chris Sherwood to Fisher. Around the net, Fisher looking for Sherwood. And that is a save by the Westfield goaltender. Evan Mastrioani as Westfield enters their zone. Here's Westfield, Sawyer King up to the point. Here's Westfield all alone. Shot save by Reed. Great pad save by Owen Reed on the captain of Westfield. And now he dives to make the cover to stop the play. There's a bit of extracurriculars after the whistle by Keller Reed. Once again, the captain of Westfield, Jack Gr Jax Grady, with an early opportunity for the Bombers. And now the face-off back in Islam Meadow zone. Their first line to take it, though it looked like it would have been the third line. Things are going to get a little shaken up here between the lines as last week versus Littleton, Junior Alec Nero found himself suspended for a couple games, I believe, if my information is correct. So we will see how head coach Dan Reed manages those lines. And Keller Reed for the extracurricular activities on that last play as a penalty. He will sit in the box for two minutes for a slash as Esau Meadow clears the zone. Here's Grady once again for Westfield. Westfield pressured by Kuhn. Mishandles in the neutral zone, though Kuhn wasn't applying much pressure there. Back in their own zone. Westfield really conservative on this power play. And now they enter the zone. Here's Westfield. Over the line, shot far above Sherwood. Again, one-timer blast into Kuhn skates. And once again, sends in the middle, but that was wide of, uh, of Reed, apologies. Now the shot from the point by Westfield goes wide. Here's O'Brien with the puck. He ran into his own defenseman, Forsyth, and now they look to clear the zone. Though it is not done, here's Westfield. They keep it in. Into the corner, Forsyth is there, but he sends it to the point where Westfield is. And now finally, Kuhn will get it out of the zone. But that will be a whistle and a trip on Westfield. It'll be four on four for 31 seconds here as Westfield's Blake Cavallon heads to the box. With just about 11 and a half here to go in this first period, Esau Meadow will play even strength before they get a power play for a minute and a half. Westfield able to win the draw and exit their zone. 
Goes off of Sherwood skate. Now in the neutral zone, here's Westfield. They dump it in. Around the boards. Asher mishandles, but Erickson is there. In Erickson skates. Now Westfield takes a hold of it. That was a shot on Reed. I don't know how Esau Meadow didn't pick that puck up right near the crease. But here comes Asher, speeding along the right wing. Asher, down low. Still has a hold of the puck. Asher trying to dance around Westfield, but they strip him. Around the net for Westfield. They dump it out of the zone. As Esau Meadows now on their power play for another minute 15. Erickson to Lee. Lee over the blue line. Here's Lee. Takes the shot wide of the Westfield goalkeeper. Esau Meadow contains behind the net. Here's Kuhn with a shot. And that will be covered by Mastriani. Once again would highlight Esau Meadows' first power play unit as it's the top line and Carson LePage with Lee down low, it looks like. Here's Asher, he gets tripped up off the draw, but there'll be no call on that play and Westfield's able to clear. Now Reed handles behind the net, lays it down for Kuhn who is pressured. Now Kuhn racing up the ice. Mishandles, but Asher picks it up. Asher over the blue line. Sends it in for LePage. LePage in the corner, pressured by the Westfield defenseman. Dobek to his aid. Dobek along the boards. Was looking for LePage out front, but sends it right to Westfield, who clears it out of the zone. Now Kuhn will pick it up back in his own zone. Over to Dobek. Streaking up the left wing, here's Dobek. Was looking to lay that back to Kuhn, but Westfield takes it away. Here's Westfield over the blue line. Now Kuhn, a great defensive play. Esau Meadow has numbers up the ice. Here's Lee over the left wing, but he's pressured by Westfield. Now out in front for Esau Meadow, but Westfield is able to cover. Some more extracurricular activity going on here after the whistle as they were poking away at the Westfield keeper. But there will be a stoppage of play and no penalties. Mike Manjala to take the face off. He wins it back with a shot. That was Cakley who went wide of Mastriani. Behind the boards, Cakley with Manjala. A scrum in the corner. But the puck comes loose. Cody Shaw with the pressure on Westfield. Now Shaw, he was out in front, but I believe that was a stick save by Mastrioani. Now Westfield will finally get a hold of it. And they will clear the zone. But Forsyth will dump it right back in. Here's Westfield along the boards, hit well. And there will be a penalty for interference. And that'll go on Cody Shaw as he laid that big hit along the boards to try and keep it in the zone for O'Brien, but he sends his team to the box instead. Face off back in Esau Meadows zone. Around the boards, Lee hit well. Back out to the point for Westfield. There's Pelletier blocked by Sherwood. Keeping the pressure, here's LePage with Westfield back in their own zone. It's Glenzel. Now into the neutral zone, here's Westfield's Grady with the shot saved by Reed. Good awareness as Grady was pretty much all alone there, streaking towards the net. Good shoulder saved by Reed. Sophomore goalie tested early. Westfield still in the zone but poked away. Great defensive play by Lee as he is hit to make the play, but Westfield 
contains in the neutral zone and they dump it back in. Around the net, there's Pelletier. A scrum going on on the boards. Here's Grady, sends it in front for Westfield, but no one's home. Along the boards now, hit well by Fisher as Westfield, but they manage to keep it in. They send it down low, wide of Reed. Into the corner now, and finally that puck exit the, exits Esau Meadows zone. And now Lee will just dump it in as Westfield drops back off of a skate of Westfield in the neutral zone and O'Brien capitalizes and sends it back in deep. Lots of pressure by Esau Meadow. Here's Fisher at the blue line. He was looking for Mandrala, who was pretty wide open in the middle there, but sends it to the corner instead. Behind the net. Now here's Westfield. It's more Tico. Tries to send it in front, but Forsyth is there. At the blue line now for Westfield, they keep it in. But Kuhn is there to intercept. He sends it to Mandrala, who has Dobek on his right. Mandrala with a shot, saved by Mastrioani. That was a good play by Mandrala there, as I don't think he had that passing lane open for Dobek on his right, but the penalty has expired for Cody Shaw, and we are back at even strength with just about six and a half left here to go in this first period. Esau Meadow wins the draw, but Westfield contains. Here's Westfield over the blue line, pressured by O'Brien. A little dangerous play by O'Brien there as he thought he was gonna skate it right into his own crease, but he clears the zone and now that puck goes in on Mastrioani. In the corner now, here's Pelletier. Pressured by Dobek. Good hit along the boards. Thought that puck might have gone out of play, but just along the boards. Still in the zone. And now finally Westfield will clear. O'Brien dropping back. Now the shot. That went off the stick of O'Brien, I believe, but it was just a trickler sent on net, and Reed will cover. Once again, Owen Reed looking strong here through this first 10 minutes or so of this game. As he gets the start instead of junior goaltender Patrick McGillicuddy, who was the main starter of last year's team, but now Westfield back in their own zone. Good hit along the boards by Lee. Westfield trying to sit in front, but Fisher's there. Fisher sends it to Reed. Around the boards to LePage. Now he sends it up to Fisher with Sherwood streaking middle. LePage pressuring. Pellets here. Scrum along the boards. But Grady comes away with it. Now Westfield will Skate over the blue line. Pressured by two East Long Meadow players and Lee will just barely get out of the zone before Westfield dumps it back in. Pressured back behind the net, that's Reed, but he is able to clear. Here's Westfield in the neutral zone, but taken by Lee. Lee sends it over to Shaw, but they will call that offsides. So the draw will come right outside of Westfield zone. Mandrala to take it. Pucks up for grabs, but Westfield is able to contain. Back in the neutral zone. Here's Bilodeau, hit well by Cakley. And Westfield's gonna dump it in, but they have to touch up first to negate the offsides. Now here's Shaw, looking for Mandrala middle, but it's caught up by two Westfield players back in his own zone. 
Now O'Brien looking for Keekley, sends it right to Westfield. Is Bilodeau with a shot saved by Reed. Around the boards. O'Brien mishandles. Westfield with the puck, now the shot. Saved by Reed. He was hit into the boards, I believe, uh, right before he got that shot off, but no harm, no foul. As we were just about three and a half minutes left here to go in this first period. The faceoff back in East Meadow zone. Dobek to take it. One by Westfield. They just barely kept it in the zone before Kuhn got to them. Now they dump it back in. Lee in the corner. Looking for Asher. But Westfield comes away with it. Here's a shot. Wide of Reed. Back in the middle. Believe Reed got a pad on that. But Westfield still able to keep this puck in. In the corner now, Reed looking to send it over to Lee. Went off the Nets moorings. Esau Meadows still having trouble getting that puck out of the zone. Hit well along the boards. Now here's Reed finally clearing the puck, but that will go for an icing. And Esau Meadow desperately needed it. As it's a group of tired players out there for the Spartans. Just under three minutes here to go. And the faceoff once again will come back in their own zone. This time Sherwood to take it. And he wins it back to O'Brien. Along the boards, he clears that puck. Esau Meadow chasing after it. Sherwood with LePage. Now LePage out in front for Fisher. And that puck goes to the corner. Don't know why LePage didn't just shoot that as he had the opportunity to. Now Westfield has their own chance out in front, but Esau Meadow is there to defend well. Back in the neutral zone. Here's Westfield, pressured well by Esau Meadow. Healthy cross check there by LePage. So got a scrum along the boards. Westfield comes away with it, though pressured by Mandrala. And Westfield with a turnover in the neutral zone. O'Brien will try to dump it in, but Grady intercepts, defended by Forsyth. And Forsyth will win the battle. But Westfield still contains. Defended by Cakley. Another cross check to Westfield. And finally, Mandrala will come away with it out of the zone. Now Westfield back over the blue line. Dumps it into O'Brien's body. Westfield tries to dump it in the middle, but Esau Meadow will clear. Keekley will just dump it in. And Chase nearly ran into each other with Keekley and Shaw. Seeing no communication really here between the Spartans as there's been a lot of mishandles and passes that no one was expecting. Which has led to very few offensive opportunities for the Spartans. As it's announced, one minute left in this first period. Kuhn over the line to Asher. Asher, down low to Dobek. Here's Dobek to Asher. The three Westfield players defended him well. Now Westfield over the line with a shot that was deflected into Reed. But once again, this has been a stretch of offensive surgeons from Westfield as they've got a lot of shots on Reed. Unfortunately, we don't have the shot counter uh, in this rink as I'd love to see how many saves he's had to make so far. And now the shot right off the face off by Westfield. Another shot, two saves by Reed. He didn't know what the second one was. Another shot opportunity but Fisher blocks it at the blue line and clears it for the Spartans. And Reed will attempt to touch up, but Sherwood is unable to hold off and an offside was called. That was a nasty block by Fisher at the blue line, but he looks to be okay. 
Now Sherwood with the face off, just under 20 seconds here to go. A battle for the puck along the boards, as there often has been throughout this period. Good play by Reed to negate the two-on-one opportunity that would have happened if he didn't poke that puck away. Westfield with control in the neutral zone. But that will end the first period. Some great opportunities for Westfield here through one. As like we talked about pregame, Esau Meadow had previously beaten this team two to two nothing earlier on in the season, which may have led to the de decision to put Reed in net. So hopefully the Spartans aren't getting ahead of themselves here and they continue to put the pressure on as that was the main thing that they did in that first period uh, as Westfield mainly had control, but when they had control back in their own zone. Esau Meadow was doing good on four checking. So hopefully Esau Meadow keeps up that pressure and is able to take some pucks away and get some more offensive opportunities. Now we'll take an intermission between the first and second period. We'll see you there. We are back here for the second period of Esau Meadow versus Westfield. A 0-0 score going into this period though there have been many shot opportunities, mainly from the Bombers in that first period. But some promising signs from the Spartans as well with their pressure. Shown and Asher taking that puck away behind the net. An easy cover for Mastriwani. The face off, won by Westfield. Back in their own zone, here's Westfield. Pressured by Dobek, but they clear anyways over the line. Defended well by Reed as they try to send that pass out front. Back behind the net now. Esau Meadows chips the puck. Here's Dobek over to Asher. Along the left wing, Asher. Falls down on the play. And Westfield's able to take advantage. But now Kuhn will Intercept in the neutral zone. You saw Meadow will regroup back in their own zone. Lee skates over the blue line. Lee, time to get that shot off. And that didn't reach Mastriwani and Westfield is able to clear. That'll go for an icing. As you saw Meadow's second line comes on with LePage, Sherwood, and Fisher. A group that has been great thus far as they had another couple goals in that game against Littleton last weekend. Here's Sherwood to take the draw. Here's LePage out in front and he scores! Carson LePage goes five hole on Mastriwani right off the draw and he gives the Spartans a one nothing lead. A great heads up play by the sophomore. <laughs> off of the draw by the Spartans in their offensive zone and just over a minute into the second period, the Spartans have the lead. Here's Forsyth along the boards. LePage I believe to be the leading scorer on the team now as he also had a goal in Littleton last weekend. Here's Westfield with control in the neutral zone, but Sherwood strips him. Sherwood looking for LePage right wing. And now he finds him. Here's Fisher in the out in front off the pass from LePage along the boards, but nothing comes of it. Westfield barely able to clear. And now Forsyth defends well against Westfield. It's lone offensive player streaking into the offensive zone. Now a turnover, and Westfield will enter back in the zone. Shot goes over Reed's head. Westfield keeps it in at the blue line. And that went on net, saved by Owen Reed. This is the momentum booster that Esau Meno needed to start the second period, as though there were promising signs, as we said, in that first period, Westfield was definitely outplaying them offensively, at least. And 
And the draw won by Mindrala. Back to Reed, but he overskates it. Westfield contains. Out in the front. The pad saved by Reed. Now out in front again. Another save by Reed. Finally, Esau Meadows able to clear it out of his crease. Back behind the net, though, still. Finally along the boards by Lee, but not out. Here's Westfield with a shot. That was Grady well wide. Along the boards. Westfield taken down by Reed. Now a hit. That was on Mandral along the boards as Westfield sent it out in front, but Reed was able to quickly cover. A big hit on Mike Mandrala. Looks to be a little shaken up on the play. And there will be a penalty. That'll go on the captain, Jax Grady, for Westfield. And that will send Esau Meadow back to the power play. With just about 12 minutes left to go here in the second period. Some great stops, though, in that sequence there by Owen Reed. As it's already happened earlier in the game, that he hasn't had a good look on the puck as it's just been around his crease, but he was able to make the stops nonetheless. The first unit out here for Esau Meadow. Asher looking for Dobek on the left wing. Bounces over a stick. Now Dobek out in front for LePage. Scrum in the crease. More extracurriculars here on Shaw. But nothing will come of it. A great pass by Brady Dobek out in front to either LePage or Asher, who were both out there. But a good pad stop by Mastrioani. Now the draw stays in the zone. Dobek behind the net around to Kuhn. Kuhn back to Dobek. Back to Kuhn. Dobek now. Looking for Asher, streaking into the middle. But that puck once again bounced over a stick. And now Westfield takes it away from him. That's Westfield Sawyer King. Sends it in on Reed, but he will send it over to Kuhn. Kuhn's pass to Asher goes offline. Looks like that puck went into the Esau Meadow bench, but that puck was deemed in play by the officials. Back around the net now, here's LePage. LePage out to Asher. Kuhn at the point sends it back to Asher. He's taken down, but here's LePage behind the net. LePage out to Kuhn at the point, shot! And that was a juicy rebound out in front for LePage, but he was unable to contain. Now Dobek out to Kuhn at the point. Asher, Kuhn looking for that one-timer shot, doesn't get it. Now Dobek with a shot, I believe, that went off of a Westfield defenseman. To the boards now. Dobek out to Kuhn. To Dobek. Kuhn with a shot. Pad saved by Mastriwani. Some great movement on this power play by Esau Meadow as there's about 15 seconds left in it. Here's Dobek now with a shot saved by Mastriwani. I believe he got a piece of that as it went over the crossbar. Back out to the point. Kuhn. Dances around Westfield, over to Asher. Asher with the shot, saved by Mastriwani, and that will kill the penalty, but still in the zone. Just went over Cody Shaw's stick as it was sent back into the middle. And now scrum for the puck along the boards. Grady will come away with it for Westfield and finally clear their zone. That felt like a forever sequence for the Spartans as they got so many shot opportunities, but unable to extend their lead. And now Westfield will ice it. Just under 10 minutes left here in the second period. Once again, a huge momentum booster off of that first goal by LePage. Unfortunate they were unable to get another one on that great power play. All dominance by the first unit. But there's still plenty left to go in this game. Off the draw, that was a shot by Cakley that went wide. Now Westfield will come away with it. Defended by Forsyth and O'Brien as he hits him along the boards. Back behind the net, here's Sherwood. 
Pressured by Westfield, looking for Fisher along the boards. Fisher in a puck battle. O'Brien to his aid. Finally, O'Brien twists and turns, and he gets away from Westfield. He'll dump it out to Cakley, who was looking to clear but doesn't. Now Forsyth with the puck back behind his own net. Long the boards to Fisher, still unable to clear for the Spartans, and finally they do. Fisher, Keekley calling forward on his right side. Now here's Sherwood, he contains over the blue line. Taken down, but quickly gets up in the corner with Keekley helping him. A lot of puck battles thus far in this game. It's been a very physical matchup so far. But finally, Westfield will come away with it. Defended by Lee and Forsyth. Now the shot by Westfield, saved by Reed. Another shot by Westfield, another pad saved by Reed. Puck is up for grabs in the crease. Reed unable to cover. A scrum out in front, and Reed is down. A huge offensive sequence that Puck up for grabs in the crease. Owen Reed sprawled out on the ice, but now he's up and looking much better. Somehow, him and his Spartans defensemen were able to keep that puck from behind the net. And now we sort out the draw. But once again, I talk a lot about momentum, and it's hard to tell which way it could go sometimes, as he saw Meadow with that power play and lead at the beginning of the period, but now off of these many sequences by Westfield, it's a game of inches. Back behind the net is Keller Reed, and he takes down Westfield. And that will be a tripping call on Keller Reed. With just under eight minutes left here to go in the second period, Westfield will head on the power play. A chance to equalize the score with their captain to take the draw against the penalty killing unit of Dobek and Kuhn offensively and Forsyth and O'Brien on defense. Westfield contains back behind Reed's net, but they overskate it and O'Brien is able to clear. Settle down by Mastriwani. The pass out kept in by Dobek though, at the blue line just barely before Westfield is able to eventually clear it back in on Reed. A mishandle by O'Brien, nearly gave it away. Now he does, back out to the point. That was a shot, I believe, blocker saved by Reed. A battle for the puck in the corner. So Esau Meadow, once again, has had a tough time clearing this puck. Had a less tough time doing it in the second period, but obviously with the power play, it's a lot of pressure by Westfield as they skate over the blue line. It's Grady, stripped away by Lee. At the blue line, shot deflected a couple of times. Still up for grabs in the middle though. Now finally, Dobek is able to clear it. And that just barely missed the netting. That will stay in play. Killing some time for Esau Meadow. Less than a minute left to go on this power play for Westfield. Pressured by Asher. Here's Westfield. Asher strips him. Here comes Asher all alone. And he scores! Back in, roofied off of the steal at the blue line. That was Frank Mafia for Westfield who had a sloppy play. And Aiden Asher is able to capitalize. He extends Esau Meadows' lead to 2 0. Short handed. Aiden Asher, what a goal. He took his time with it too. He made sure. That puck was going in. Now the face off back at center ice. Asher, the goal scorer, dumps it in.
along the boards. Here comes Westfield. Something to prove here after that disappointing goal. They're still on the power play for another 10 seconds or so. And now there is going to be a penalty. A hooking call on Chris Sherwood. He will join Reed in the box. And Westfield will have a five on three power play for 11 seconds. <laughs> Esau Meadow open and not let Westfield get back in this game. As it looked like they were going to easily kill this penalty with some momentum. To, but Westfield, it's another power play. Westfield has it across. Saved by Reed. Point blank shot. Cross ice past that. Just barely found Westfield's Evan Kopatsk. But Reed stands tall for the Spartans. The draw won by Dobek, but Westfield contains at the blue line. Here's Westfield, Drew Glensel into Dobek's stick. Dobek battling hard along the boards. He's taken down, high sticked by Glensel, and that is going to be a penalty. Very clear infraction on one of the other Westfield Bombers captains. And it will be four on four here for a minute 35. Dobek to take the draw. Glad to see he's okay after that ice stick. Now Westfield will clear. And that will go for an icing. The Reed was calling for I didn't believe it was. But nonetheless, the draw back in Esau Meadows offensive zone. Dobek once again to take it. Kuhn comes away with it. Up to the point for O'Brien, he dumps it in deep. Here's Dobek back behind the net. Looking for Kuhn, he finds him. But he's intercepted off of the attempted pass back to the blue line for O'Brien. Here is Grady. He was defended very well by Jack Forsyth. He would have had a clear breakaway opportunity after he beat O'Brien. That, that foot race. Speaking of foot races, here's Kuhn. Came over the blue line and he was Hooked, I believe, or interfered with, as he had Dobek on his left wing coming up the ice. A boatload of penalties here in the second period, and East Low Meadow will have a four on three for quite some time before they get a power play once again. Miscommunication, but keeps in the zone. Here's Lee with a shot deflected off of Westfield, and they will clear. They call that a holding on Kuhn. Any one of those calls would have done it. Now here's Asher along the left wing. Asher with the move and shot. And Mastriwani will cover. What a move using his speed to get behind the Westfield defenseman. And that time he was unable to pot it for the Spartans. Four and a half left here to go in the second period. LePage losing the draw to Westfield as they will wrap it around the boards. But Lee will contain at the blue line. Lee to Asher. Asher over to LePage. LePage just barely got the shot off, but that was wide at Mastriwani. LePage back to the blue line for Reed. Reed. Now Lee with a shot. He just missed far glove side of Mashriawani. The great cross ice pass, I believe, by Reed. Now a scrum along the boards. And Sherwood is out of the box. It's a five on three for Esau Meadow. 
for 20 seconds, although there is another penalty on the play. Fisher will head to the box for another hold, I believe. And this will be another four on three for Islam Meadow. We talked about discipline a lot with this team and although these are some tough calls going against the Spartans and Bombers. Back in their own zone, here's the Spartans. Sherwood, he wins the face off back to his defenseman. Lee, that is. He skates over the blue line. Lee, tried to get around Westfield's Paul Lowry, doesn't work. Now he comes away with it, out in front. He was looking for Sherwood, but he is unable to connect. Coming out of the box, that was Glenzel. Nearly took the puck away. Now Esau Meadow over the blue line. Sherwood sends it out in front. There was a man out front there, that was LePage. He was taken down behind the play. Unable to get any shot opportunities there. Now Westfield over the blue line. Shot, saved by Reed. A very entertaining stretch of play there. As opportunities for Esau Meadow and Westfield. Once again, lots of penalties on this play. There's just about three minutes left here in the second period. It is four on four now currently for another 18 seconds or so and then it'll be a power play for Westfield. Is Westfield with a shot, that was deflected on Reed. They still have the opportunity out in front, Reed with the pad save. Another save by Owen Reed, that hit his mask. Now finally, East Long Meadow will clear. Reed's had to do that a lot thus far in this game, make a surgence of stops consecutively, and he's come up big for the Spartans. Now here's Westfield. Bilodeau, looking middle, no one's there. Now behind the net. Westfield out in front and they score! Esau Meadow unable to contain the behind the net pass. And that will be Westfield's Galvin Bilodeau with the goal to get the Bombers on the board and make this game two to one. A quick play by the Bombers. I would say nothing Reed could do there as I just talked about him coming up big. Now it's time for the Spartans to end this period on a high note. Two and a half year left to play in the second period. A scrum along the boards. Here's Grady with a shot saved by Reed. He's unable to cover. That puck's still up for grabs. And finally he is able to. Reed with the save, but unable to control the rebound. Well, luckily, he prevents the Bombers from tying this game. What a momentum killer that would have been for the Spartans as another shot comes in on Reed and he makes a stick save into the netting. That was on Glenzel once again, a hard one-timer from the left point. Now Dobek to take the draw back in his own zone. Asher comes away with it. Over the left wing, Aiden Asher. Now Westfield able to clear. Reed with the puck now. A dangerous pass. If Westfield was able to keep that in the zone, they would have had numbers. Aziz Meadow was caught standing still and back in their own zone. But uh, here's Dobek, another dangerous pass, cross ice, looking for Kuhn. But the Bombers intercept, and they send it in deep. Here's Lee. Looking to make a play, Lee just dumps it in. Allowing Sal Meadow to make the change. But here's Cody Shaw racing after it. Westfield's finally able to clear. 
It's Mindrala, lost his footing. Now Westfield over the middle. Tip shot. That was Breeden Sarnetsky. And now there will be another penalty. A scrum in the corner, and they are going to call a cross check. And that will go against Giuseppe Lee. With just about a minute left here to go in the second period, Lee sends his team back to the penalty kill. With a face off. Back in their own zone for East Long Meadow. The face off won by Sherwood back to Forsyth. Tries to wrap it around the boards, but Westfield contains. Here's Westfield. Unable to contain that pass out to the blue line, though. East Long Meadow pressures in the neutral zone. Now here's Westfield. Mafia. Defended by Forsyth. Outnumbered, though, and Westfield comes away with it. Back at the blue line with a shot at deflected wide. I was Glenzel for Westfield. Now, finally, you saw Meadows able to clear. Under 30 seconds to go. The pressure by Esau Meadows' penalty killing unit. But here's Grady over the line. Grady between O'Brien skates, got the shot away, and a save by Reed. Battle for the puck along the boards. Westfield into O'Brien once again. He hit Sherwood on his way out, but the puck did exit that zone, and that will just about end the period. A very entertaining second period in comparison to that first. Score two to one, East Long Meadow. But they will head to the third period on the penalty kill for 56 seconds off of Lee's cross-checking, minor. Once again, I will reiterate Reed coming up huge for the Spartans, and hopefully he has another huge period in the third to end the game strong for the Spartans. Hopefully head coach Dan Reed will reiterate the importance of pressure in this penalty kill that they will have to face coming into this third. But offensively, the Spartans had some resurgence. Hopefully they keep that up and look to extend their lead in this third period. We'll see you then. We are back here for the third period of Esau Meadow Spartans versus Westfield Bombers. Esau Meadow currently has a 2-1 lead over Westfield in a very entertaining three-goal second period. The energy has picked up, and both teams are at their high. Looking for this to be a very entertaining final period of the game as Westfield scored the last goal and are looking to make a comeback in this game. But once again, the sophomore goaltender, Owen Reed, has stood tall for the Spartans thus far. And we're hoping he has a, another big period as Westfield skates over the line. That's Pelletier. Out to the point, shot, saved by Reed. Still up for grabs. But Kuhn will come away with it. Kuhn over the left wing. Here's Kuhn gets the edge on Westfield with a shot. That one off the side of the netting. Dobek tripped up as he went to go retrieve that puck from the corner, but there's no call on the play. An immediate big save by Reed at the start of this third. Another attempt to pass it into the middle by Westfield is offline. Now Asher over the left wing. One on one, a foot race. Asher. And he was taken off the puck by Lowry of Westfield. Now Sherwood pressures behind. Out in front for LePage. And a big pad stop by the goaltender for Westfield. That's Mastriawani. Still in the zone. Here's Lee at the point with a shot. LePage nearly tipped that. Second to his other opportunity as the puck was up for grabs in the crease. A trickler. That just caught the toe of Mastriani's pads. That puck stays out. 
for the draw. Stays in the zone, and LePage will take it. Sherwood comes away with it with a shot. Well over Mascheroni's net. Back behind the net now, here's LePage. Over to Fisher. In the corner now with Sherwood helping. Kept in at the blue line by Lee. In the skates at Sherwood. But LePage comes away with it to Fisher. Over to Sherwood. Believe he got a piece of that, but Mastriani will cover. Good pressure by East Lamedo off of Westfield's early chances. Once again, as I said, a game of inches at this point, though it is not tied. It's a very intense level of play that both teams are competing with here in this third period. Manjala to take the face off. Grady tossed out. Here's Shaw, he comes away with it. Hit well by Lowry. Now he hits him well. But Westfield will control back in their own zone. Cakely pressuring. Obviously one thing that we said that the Spartans have done thus far in both periods is kept the pressure on Westfield in their forechecking abilities. And that has stayed consistent all game. Shaw up the left wing. He has Cakely and Mandral in the middle. Shaw looking for Cakely. It's offline. Now Westfield up the boards hit well. Lee sends it back in deep. Now Mandral out to the point for Lee. Lee with a shot. That deflected into the corner. Along the boards now. Mandral looking to come away with it, but Westfield will intercept and clear it. Lee with the speed over the right wing. He lightly sends it in and Westfield contains. Kuhn hits Westfield's Pelletier well, back in his own zone, but the Bombers will come away with it as it is dumped in by Barker. Reed pressuring, he's beat out in front, a good poke check by Owen Reed to prevent the pass from coming in. And now another opportunity for the Bombers as a trickler shot from the point was sent in on net and Reed will cover. A good poke check though on that previous play by Reed as that pass was gonna come right to a wide open Westfield forward out in front, but Reed prevented that from happening. As we've seen that from Sherwood, he's picked up a couple tips from his senior goaltender. In the corner now for Forsyth. Battling along the boards with Asher. And East Long Metal will clear it. Uh, that will be on goal to negate the icing. Here's Glenzel. Up ice pass. Looking for Barker, but Asher will come away with it. A mishandle, though, at the blue line. Westfield nearly came away with it. Thanks to Asher's stick handling. He sends it over to Fisher, who dumps it in. Glenzel once again for... The Bombers around the boards, looking for Pelletier. Now LePage will intercept. LePage out in front. He's looking to get that pass from Fisher. It's offline. LePage tipped the puck to try and keep it in the zone, but it doesn't work. Now he hits the Westfield player along the boards well, but they still dump it in. Here's Forsyth back behind his own net to LePage. Sends it over to Sherwood up the left wing. But Westfield defends him well. Fisher joining the scrum as well. Now LePage will try and poke at it. Still looking to get this puck loose from along the boards. And now they finally do. As Westfield will control. Slings it along the boards. Hit well, though, by Fisher. That was on Morquito. Now LePage keeping up the pressure. Looking for Fisher. Out in front, but defended well. Now Westfield will just dump it in. O'Brien defending Laurie. And once again, Reed pokes it away to negate that pass from coming into his crease. Nine and a half left here to play in this third period. Still the 2-1 lead for the Spartans. As Cakely comes away with the puck and exits his zone with Shaw on his left wing. Here's Shaw. 
looking for Keekley back. But Keekley is unable to control, pressured by two Westfield players. Puck still hasn't exited, though. The turnover at the blue line. Shaw capitalizes. Glenzel takes the hit to make the play, gets it around the boards for the Bombers. But still, the pressure is kept up by Shaw and Keekley. Mandral jumping in there as well, but Westfield will finally exit. Reed defending that play. Now here's Grady with the shot that went off of Lee. Reed unable to control. Now Lee will sling it around the boards. Puck still up for grabs. Grady takes a swing at it. Puck is loose in the crease. That was Grady on his knees who got the shot off somehow as the Spartans unable to take control. Puck is still up for grabs, but finally Mandrala will clear this puck. Just barely not going for icing. A big scrum out in front by Westfield. But luckily the Spartans once again able to prevent them from tying this game. They have numbers out in front. That was a pass from behind the net by Barker. Looking for his man out front, but he doesn't get there. Now Esau Meadow. That was the shot by Kuhn. Pad save by Mastriawani. Good counter by Esau Meadow as they get the good shot opportunity after Westfield had many consecutive ones through this first eight minutes or so in this third period. Now the face off back in Westfield zone. Puck up for grabs. But Westfield exits the, exits the zone. You saw Meadow touches up and now they put the pressure on Westfield. Westfield though contains along the boards. However, they will ice this puck. Dobek once again to take the face off in his offensive zone. With just about seven minutes left here in this third period. It's been a quick one as both teams have kept play going for consecutive minutes but still no change in score. 2-1 game. Back behind the net. Westfield along the boards, but Kuhn intercepts. Sends it back in looking for Dobeck or Asher. Westfield will finally clear this puck over the line. Now here's O'Brien. He dumps it in. Dobeck to chase. Here's Bilodeau, the goal scorer for Westfield. Pressuring with Asher. He's hit well along the boards. Now here's LePage out in front. Saved by the Westfield goalkeeper. It's a great blocker save by Mastriawani. But now there is going to be two penalties, I believe, on this play, if I'm not mistaken. That he, the official had pointed at two players, and I believe he did. That'll be Bilodeau and Asher heading to the box for their respective teams. And this will remain a five on five. Six and a half left here to play. Off the face off, save by Mastriawani on LePage's shot. There's another penalty on this play, I believe, on Westfield. A cross ice pass by Fisher. By Sherwood, excuse me, looking for Fisher. Now Westfield will finally touch up just as Esau Meadow got their sixth man on the ice. And this will be Westfield's Glenzel heading back to the box. And this will be for roughing, I believe. So now it will be a power play for Esau Meadow. And with Asher in the box, it'll be Kuhn, LePage, Shaw, Dobek, and Lee for the unit. 
Westfield just barely able to exit their zone. But before this power play, though, we saw Meadow had some good opportunities. LePage uh, with a couple off the faceoff and then that great blocker save by Mastriwani. But now him and his unit look to capitalize again. Cross ice pass for LePage, but he was unable to handle that properly. And he sent it wide. LePage, cross ice. That was Dobek. That went just over the crossbar. Now here's Kuhn at the point. Down low for LePage. Kuhn pressured by two Westfield players. LePage as well. Cross ice to Dobek. He shoots. Saved by Mastriwani. Puck is still loose. Another save by Mastriwani. That was a stacked block, a pad save, I believe, as he was down and out, but still made the save. Impressive from the Westfield goalkeeper. With just about a minute left here to go in this power play, some good chances. Great feeds from LePage to find Dobek on the left wing. But Spartans are thus far unable to extend their lead. Lee with a great hit along the boards. LePage as well, he sends the Westfield player into the net. And that will stop the play. Let's get the net back on its pegs. Just under five minutes left here in this third period. Looking to be a very entertaining final five minutes with the Spartans still on this power play. And now the face off in Westfield zone. Sherwood loses and Westfield slings around the boards but Mandrala will intercept. Second unit out here for Isal Meadows power play. Mandrala over to Fisher. Back out to the point for Forsyth. Connects with Fisher. Fisher walks in, shot, saved by Mastriwani. A quick rebound cover to prevent any opportunities for Esau Meadow. Once again, Sherwood to take the face off. He wins it back this time. He just barely got the shot off, but that didn't find the net. Now a shot by Forsyth. That went off a skate and into the corner. Around the net, Westfield, and they will clear. Forsyth once more. His pass went off of a Westfield player, but found Mandrala and he dumps it in. Around the boards, Sherwood with Fisher pressuring. He is hit well by Michael Pelletier of Westfield. Esau Meadow just barely able to keep that in the zone. That was Chris Sherwood, the great keeping. Once again by Sherwood, as the physical play ramps up here in this third period. A few consecutive hits. Now Dobek takes it away from Westfield. Hit along the boards, but still has the puck on a stick. Now sends it out to the point for O'Brien, who dumps it right back in. Looking for LePage. He finds Dobek. Westfield looking to clear, but O'Brien is just barely able to keep this puck in. Scrum along the boards and Westfield will come away with it. And the penalty is cleared for Westfield. Just about three minutes left here to go in this third period. Even strength for both teams. And looking to see when Westfield may pull their goal goalkeeper. Westfield though in East Long Meadows zone. Behind the net looking for that pass out in front and they get it there. But O'Brien is there and he lays a hit on his own man Dobek. Finally Esau Meadow will send it up the ice with LePage to tip it and negate the icing. Westfield contains though. Now here's Mandrala over to LePage in his skates though and Westfield will capitalize and send it in deep. And we're looking for the icing but they don't get the call. That was Esau Meadow. They will clear their zone anyways. Westfield will dump it back in, but touch up to negate the offsides. Once again, a pass up ice and a big hit at center ice. Esau Meadow over the blue line though. Physical play once again ramping up. Esau Meadow keeps it in their zone, but not for long. Westfield sends it out to 
Mafia gets the shot off. That tipped wide. Westfield still contains along the boards though. Here's Pelletier with a shot, saved by Reed. Rebound opportunity was there. Now finally, Pelletier mishandle at the blue line and Cakley was able to capitalize. Now here's Cody Shaw up the left wing. All alone, four Westfield players on him. Finally gets help in Chris Sherwood. But Westfield will come away with it nonetheless. Minute and a half, you're left to go. Fans of both teams are riled up. Big hit by Lee. And the pass out in front for the Bombers. Esau Meadow able to prevent anything from happening there. Cody Shaw, once again up the left wing. Helped with a big hit by Fisher. But Westfield will once again clear their zone. Westfield with a ton of momentum. Here's Mafia. Defended very well by Lee. Played the body greatly. And now an opportunity for Esau Meadow. LePage up the right wing. He's tripped up on the play. Still sends that pass out in front. LePage on his knees, sends the pass out in front once again. But Westfield will touch up. And this will be a penalty on Westfield. Lots of action going on in this final minutes of this third period. But this is a momentum killer for Westfield. As I presumed, Westfield was going to pull their goaltender any second. But they don't. And that trip on LePage is going to cost them. Westfield exercising their time out, as the announcer calls. And Esau Meadow with a five on four opportunity here. Will be interesting to see if Westfield still possibly attempts to make this a five on five. If they get this puck into their offensive zone and feel they need the numbers offensively, they may pull their goaltender anyways, even though they're on the penalty kill. We will see how Esau Meadow ends this as Dan Reed hypes up his bench. Play is set to resume here in Esau Meadow's first power play unit out there. Dobek to take the face off. A big one. Asher controls with a shot wide of Mastriawani. LePage in control now along the corner boards. LePage will just keep this puck for himself before dumping it to Dobek to try and kill time off the clock. Nearing 30 seconds left in this game. Asher along the boards looking for Dobek again. Now Kuhn will retreat and send it over to Lee, who controls. Lee looking for Dobek. That puck dumped to back in by Westfield. Lee will control now. Finds Asher up the left wing. Asher with Dobek on his right. Dobek will shoot it into the empty net, and he scores. Was correct in presuming that Westfield, once they got numbers up the ice, was going to attempt to pull their goaltender anyways. But Isong Meadow will extend their lead 3-1. to one. The empty netter goal by Brady Dobek. Solid frying from nearly the red line at the post and went in. But Isong Meadow is going to secure this with just about 10 seconds left here to go in this game. The faceoff at center ice. A great showing as we're just, just about to end this game, but there was a slashing call and a stick break. That'll go on Lee once again, but luckily for him, this won't matter much. With 6.4 seconds left on this clock. The penalty to Westfield proved costly for the Bombers in this final minute here. Who knows what would have happened if they advanced to six on five instead of five on five. And now Westfield's gonna score. Off of the draw, Westfield makes it a 3-2 game with 3.4 seconds left. That'll be Westfield's Frank Mafia 
cheering on his Westfield crowd. I'll shout out the East Hall Meadow crowd as well as they have packed up this small arena. The face off at center ice. Dobek to take it. And they will essentially just fall on the puck. The shot comes in on Reed, but it's wide. And Esau Meadow will secure the W here. Their record now, 7-3-1. Westfields, 2-11. Though it wasn't that much of a pretty win, they still got it. And this was crucial for them as they once again take on the Longmeadow Lancers next Thursday in a revenge matchup that hopefully will be packed with East Long Meadow fans and will hopefully result in a much different outcome than last time. Nonetheless, a solid showing by the Spartans here once again, just as they did in their previous win over the Bombers. And they look to extend their win streak next week once again against Long Meadow. I'll once again just reiterate how big of a win this was for Owen Reed who stood tall for the Spartans and secured the win. A great showing by the sophomore goaltender and a great showing once again by the sophomore Carson LePage and the top line and power plays of the Spartans. So we will see you next Thursday against the Longmeadow Lancers. We'll see you then. Thank you for joining me. I'm Abby LePage.